So in this video, I'm going to give you a very quick introduction on how to use Canva for screen recording as an alternative to QuickTime or perhaps um, Screencastify. Um, and the demo I'm going to give you is how you can give feedback to students and record uh, what you're doing in Schoology. Uh, so inside Canva, you can log in with your school Gmail account. Um, this will work for students and also for faculty. Uh, we'll go to presentation. It'll just give us a blank canvas where we can uh, create our, our recording. So from here, I'm going to go to Uploads, and then I'm going to hit Record Yourself. This will give a couple of pop-up windows. You just need to allow Canva to access our camera, allow it to access our microphone. Uh, it's just configuring those settings now. And then once that has been set up, we then need to choose uh, exactly what we want to record. So you can see now I've got my little floating head. Uh, but under our settings, I want to record my camera and also the screen. So again, I need to allow screen sharing. And I'm going to use my camera on my MacBook and also um, my microphone on my MacBook as well. So from here, now I have a little bit of inception happening, um, but that's okay. We're going to uh, move away from the screen when I hit record. So hit record, it'll give me a nice countdown. Three, two, one, I'm gonna move over to Schoology. So in Schoology, you'll then go to your assignment. From your assignment, you've got to see the student that needs their work graded. You can click on that. You can press the recording. So now I have my, my student playing, I can give feedback. You can skip through the performance, pause it, gives a little bit of feedback. Refer to the rubric if you need to, uh, so you can talk about where they are on the scale based on your, your larger rub rubric if you need to. And then from there, I then go back to Canva, and I'm gonna press done. I'm finished with my recording. Okay, I'll save and exit. So now I so have my video playing here. Uh, my video and my head are actually separate, so if you don't want the head, you can delete that later on. We can also do some fancier stuff as well. So if I wanted to add, uh, for example, like a iPad frame uh, to make this look a little bit more pre presentable, we could add those in. So I'll add that one in, put my video inside my frame. So now I've got a little frame. This could be useful if you wanted to use Canva as a collaborative tool for students to self-reflect. So you could have uh, a table here where the students self-reflect, or perhaps you just want to add in a couple of points. So I could add in a header and say uh, point one, focus on this, focus on that. And there I have um, my feedback given to my students. So in order to share this, I can click share, type in the student's name, or we could also download this as a complete file as well. If you have any time you want to edit your video, we can also edit the video. So up here we've got crop, we've got edit video to add some feet, um, some um, styles to it, which we probably won't need to because you want to do it a little bit quicker. But I can drag that to make sure that I crop it to just have the section that I want to give feedback on. So hit done. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Um, allows you to do the screen recording. You can also add a couple more features. Perhaps you could set up templates and things for your feedback, but allows you to have uh, your head giving the feedback, reflecting on the student's performance, and hopefully that sharing uh, is nice and quick for you as well, so you don't need to download videos and re-upload videos. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to do some one-on-one -on -one help or support with this.